Contrary to the information from the police, we have a video of the moment a group of journalists and peaceful protesters were tear gassed at the Lekito Plaza. Plus TV Africa's Destiny Momo was one of the persons tear gassed at close range. She and our cameraman, Ayatollah Solomon, had to run and his camera fell to the ground. They are currently recovering from the trauma of their experience. I heard a sound. I was like, is this a gunshot? What is this? And people started running and then it became intense. They continued. I am a cameraman. We started running. We're crossing the road at the other side of Lekki Toll Gate where the cars were, were coming with so much speed. We were crossing. We didn't care. And I was praying. <coughs> I saw some other people going through a barbed wire into the, the water, the waterways, where the water was around the Lekki Toll Gate. And I, I looked at it, I weighed it, I viewed it, and I saw that it was, I, I, I might not be able to fit in to that barbed wire. I started digging sand, it was as if I was swimming inside sand, just to be able to pass through the barbed wire that would help me make way into the waterways. And then people were like, my camera, I saw my camera on the ground. I was like, God. As I was carrying the camera, people were shouting, leave the camera and run. Your life is more important. Leave the camera and run. And other people were asking us not to pass through where the barbed wire because they were scared that the police would start coming and then they were driving us. And I had to lie that I was pregnant. Because of my size, they believed me. And before I edit, I was here shooting tear gas and all. And I don't know what, what they were shooting, but I know I was hearing sounds and everything. So I, I picked up to my ways. I was running with my camera and my reporter was running as well. So as we were going, what it would make me feel so bad was that this um, tear gas was so, so, um, so powerful. As in, I felt uncomfortable. You know, I was choking, I was crying. What I was coming out, my eyes was red. You know, I couldn't breathe very well. It was like I was going to give up. That was how I felt like, man, I was going to go at that moment, you know. So as I was going, my camera fell down, you know. Yes, I left my camera. Not because I don't want to pick it up, but I was, bread was leaving me already. I was, feeling, I was feeling weak already at that moment. So I had to call my MD. Like, sir, this is it. This was happening at the moment. I was still panting. I was feeling comfortable. It was like, okay, where's Destiny? And where are the other guys? I said, I don't even know where Destiny is at the moment. And I left my camera at the scene. But... My MD is a very lovely man, and he was like, okay, now about the camera, about, am I okay, am I good? I said, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good. So after everything, after like 30 minutes, I went back to the scene, I had to trek back to the scene. This is not the first time I'm, I'm coming to protest, but this one was so intense in the scene, because of the tear gas and everything, it was going into my system. I felt uncomfortable. I was passing out totally. So, um, but glory be to God, you know, yeah. I'm still talking to you, I'm still feeling uncomfortable, I'm feeling, I'm feeling funny in my system. Some people were harassed, me myself, I was harassed by the Nigerian army because he almost took my phone from me. I was on my Instagram live and he said I should stop filming because at that time they were harassing some people in a bus. They were destroying the Nigerian flag, they pushed them, they tore their shirts and all that. So I was trying to capture that moment and all that when the Nigerian army came and almost took my phone from me. So all I had to do at that time was to, you know, hibernate my phone at that time so they wouldn't even know I was filming, you know, just to get those moments and a few minutes later, they started shooting the tear gas on some people and... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.